So in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm working on a pre foreclosure real estate deal. The house is going to the auction in a few weeks and we're putting it together to buy the property before it goes to the foreclosure auction. We're going to buy it subject to the existing financing. Hopefully I'm going to go over the numbers and hopefully it all makes sense because you never really know till you get down to the numbers. So I want to show you what do we look for? What documents do we have to get to verify before closing? So we know what we need to bring to the table at closing. And remember, I'm not dealing with any banks. I'm not dealing with no credit, no tax returns, not sucking up to any lender to put this all together. I'm going in with no credit check deal and I want the same for you. Let's do it. All right, class, it's Chris Haskins with the real estate roundup.com. My mission, my ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. Listen, I believe you are the person that knows it's going to take some time to learn how to do this stuff the right way. You can't learn how to be a professional real estate investor or even go out there and buy a piece of real estate without using your credit on a one minute short video on a reel, right? Everybody's like short form content, one minute. I believe you're smart enough to know that real estate investing is going to take time. That's why you hang out with me on my channel and I don't have time. I just do not have the time to get out there and make all this beautiful content, make all the, the, the swipes and all that stuff, make it sexy because I'm doing deals and I want you to get out there and do deals too. So right now we're going to go over the numbers. This piece of real estate that we're, that we're putting together now, I haven't purchased it yet, but the lead came in through my geek squad, came in through my online presence and all that stuff. If you have, listen, if you have some money to spend on leads only, if you have some capital to spend on leads and you want to get leads coming in on autopilot, the links in the video description, that link to my geek squad is in the video description. You can reach out to them, but don't reach out to them if you ain't got no money to spend. You need at least two or $3,000 a month to get these leads coming in. So this lead came in, the people are behind in payment, behind in, in their monthly payments. And further, they filed bankruptcy last year. So what happens in the bankruptcy, let's say they file, boom, the payments stop. That doesn't mean that the interest still doesn't accrue. <clears throat> so they have to one day either uh, get the trustee, the, the, the bankruptcy trustee to change the payments, or in this instance, they actually got out of the bankruptcy. So they got, it got discharged. So all those payments over the last whatever year or two all come due right now. That's where your boy has to step in and make these deals happen. See, when you know how to negotiate pre foreclosures, you turn into a superhero. You know how to do what, in my opinion, what less than 1% of the population knows how to do. And that's get out there and, and how to deal with these banks, deal with the foreclosing trustees, the sheriffs and all that stuff. So let's look at the numbers on this one. First, I'll show you the property. It's a three bedroom, one bath. It's in Virginia Beach. Very nice area. There's some wonderful people that we're buying this house from. And you got to understand, this is a people business. I never forget how many times have I taken people to lunch, um, went to the house, visited their families, send them different cars, get referrals from them, just hang out with people because if you're not willing to get to know people, maybe real estate isn't for you. So this one here, the people, uh, I'm not quite sure the whole story, but they had a death in a family, just a nightmare. My heart goes out to them and you got to have empathy. You better have some empathy if you're going to be in this game because you know, things happen. Okay. Then what we're going to do here is a subject to, we're going to buy and hold it. Not like a buy and hold that you think warm and fuzzy where I'm going to paint it and carpet and have new tenants coming in and out. Uh, uh, Another video, I will show you what we're going to do to it after we get after we get in it. You have to know how you're going to get into the property. You got to deal with this first before you deal with all that back end stuff. All right. First thing we're going to need. What are the documents that we need? If you don't uh, if you don't know the documents we need to put together to buy a house subject to the first thing is the mortgage statement. You got to have the mortgage statement. Without that, you don't know what the monthly payment is. You don't know what they owe. How much are they in arrears? So this one here, you're going to bring our sort on the screen here. The monthly payment is going to be 1100, let's just say 1100 bucks. And that includes PITI, that's principal interest, taxes, and insurance. All that stuff rolled up into one. All right. The next thing is the principal owed. That's going to be 119,000. Now it is, that is not on the, on the mortgage statement, but it is on the paperwork that I got from the foreclosing trustee. So when you're going to buy a property subject to before the foreclosing before before the foreclosure auction, 
you have to order all the figures from the trustee because sometimes the bank might be behind. So we got those figures right here. So that tells us, what is it? They owe roughly 119,000. You can see right there on the paper. That's what the principal balance is. Now the arrears, we had to order that from the foreclosing trustee too. You can see the arrears here are total payment amount, 37,000, almost 30, 38,000. It's crazy. How can somebody with an 1100, uh, uh, with an $1,100 payment be $37,000 behind. Well, a whole bunch of stuff, no doubt, has been added in. And they probably haven't made a payment in two to three years, right? So you got a, uh, you got a, yeah, arrears, $37,000. So if we add up principal owed and the arrears, that adds up to about $156K. That's what it's going to cost me roughly to get into this deal if I were to pay cash for it, all right? And I, I want to probably stay, I'm trying to stay away from using up all my cash because all these great deals that are, are going to be coming out right now, see what has happened since COVID hit and all that stuff, people have bought properties and the interest rates are super low. I never forget the other day I had a guy tell me, Chris, I got 3.7% interest rate. Uh, interest rates are like eight now, right? He said he's gonna wait until the interest rate goes below 3.7. Bubba, you're gonna be waiting a long time. Anything below a 5% interest rate, guys, is phenomenal. It's great, right? Or even if you got a 6%, be thankful. Be thankful you're not at 8 or 9%. Like when I first started, I had interest, I had mortgages at 9.5%. All right, re is 37, so we're looking at 160K, right? The ARV on this one is 230 to 240,000. So I got some room in it, not a lot. This house needs a full gut job, needs everything. So in order for me to buy this thing, you gotta pay attention here, guys. To buy this thing subject to, how do I get the reinstatement figures? What are the reinstatement figures? That is when you talk to the foreclosing trustee, they say, listen, if you want to reinstate this loan, this is how much you need to bring. And let's bring to the screen here. But in order for us to get this reinstatement figures, we have to have our standard authorization to release information. This is the document that comes with my subject to document packet. If you don't have your subject to docs, you gotta have it. If you're gonna buy a house subject to, you got to have these documents and you can download them right in the video description below. Go ahead and get order them, download them, invest in your future. Sub two is going to be the way to go. This is, this is where it's at now, y'all. So the reinstatement figures, let's see here, they're going to be $46,000 for me to bring this thing current. That means I'm going to walk into this deal, bring $46,000 and some of that 46K is going to go towards this principal. I'm going to presume maybe roughly 10 to 11,000, so it's gonna bring my principal down too. So in order for me to get into this deal, I gotta bring the reinstatement figures, you can see right here on the screen, 46K, and once again, we said that's some principal. So I'm getting into this deal with 50,000 bucks. Now, you might think that's a lot of money, but think about it, y'all. Affordable housing in my area is a quarter million. And if I can get into a house, no bank qualifying and have to bring 50K, Hopefully I'm gonna get a down payment from somebody. Let's say I get 25,000 out of somebody. The monthly payment's 1,100. I'll be able to cash flow it at 15, 1,600. I'll make 500 bucks a month. Those deals are the deals that still work. See, when you get to a certain, uh, different people or different levels of real estate, all we do now is look for places to deploy capital. That's it. You get this deal here, okay, how much is this deal gonna take? 50,000, okay, boom. I got one now, we're buying next week, so I'm gonna take 350,000. So we have all types of deals that just require capital, and that's where I want you to be. Deploying capital, that's the name of the game, okay? Not swinging a hammer, no disrespect to anybody that swings a hammer for a living. It's challenging to do, but I want you out of that business and just making decisions for capital and acquisitions, all right? So these are the numbers here for our new subject to transaction. Remember, we're buying it subject to the existing financing. That means we're just taking over the payments and you can do the same. The, the, the question is, will we be able to do it? Because you look here, the, these reinstatement figures are only good until June 1st. So I'm doing this in real time for y'all. I'm like, I don't have no time to be messing with y'all. This, this is real deal. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the content, and happy Memorial Day to you and your family. I hope you enjoy a burnt hot dog, perhaps, or a veggie dog, a tofurkey dog, whatever it is that floats your boat. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video where uh, I'm going to show you how we negotiated this. And further, I'm going to take you to closing, hopefully if we get it closed, so you can see how does all this stuff come together. you got to have all these documents. 
And if you don't have those docs that they're there, they're below in the video description. And if you want to see how those docs work, I put a link right there to a subject to video walking you through the documents. Round up. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.